Hi, I'm Gil Valentine and welcome to Talent Talk, Derby, Connecticut's only talent talk show. I'm here with Buckets and Boards. Buckets and Boards, how you doing? Welcome to the program. Uh, now, which one of you is Buckets and which one of you is Boards? Uh, I am Buckets, actually. I guess I'm Boards. And uh, what's your names? My name is Matthew. And I'm Gareth. Now, where are you guys from originally? Uh, I'm originally from Oregon. I was born in Southern Oregon and lived in California a little bit. And, and, and you? And I'm from uh, Southwest Missouri. Where did you guys meet? Uh, we met at the Dixie Stampede. Yeah. That's where we both worked. Gareth, what'd you do over there? I was the comedian there for 10 years, from 2000 to 2010. Yeah. That's a long time. It was fun, though. Yeah, and I was there uh, since 2005, and I did basically everything in the show. I was Gareth's yeah. backup, uh, so we were the only two comedians Dixie had for the last, what, six years, maybe? Yeah, something like that, and you were a trick rider and did all sorts of cool stuff. So they're probably really hurting now that you both left. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, what did you study in school, or did you? I studied musical theater in college. Ooh. I went to Ithaca College in upstate New York, and it's beautiful up there. I loved it. I uh, spent four years up there. That's where I started uh, tap dancing, studied uh, singing and music and acting and all that fun stuff. Cool, and I, I went uh, to William Jewell College. It's in Kansas City in Liberty. Uh, I studied regular theater. Not this fancy musical theater <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but I did that. Uh, I was a uh, track and field. Did a lot of stuff. Yeah, you were like competing everywhere. I was very much competing. I was a four-time All-American in the decathlon, pentathlon, and high jump. He's very competitive. Yeah. Now, what made you want to create buckets and boards? We were working at Dixie Stampede, and... Uh, we had a lot of free time between shows, and uh, we had like hour breaks in between each show. And we would do over mm -hmm. there probably uh, in the summer. We get to do three and four shows every day. Yeah. So we, we to keep ourselves <laughs> entertained between shows, we uh, he started teaching me how to drum, which right. I always really wanted to learn. And, yeah. And I started teaching him some tap dance stuff, and we just worked around with a bunch of different ideas and making music and playing guitar together and annoying everybody else yeah. in the dressing room. <laughs> so really, everybody <laughs> in the dressing room over there kind of knew what our show was about before we even came over here because they got to see it from its earliest stages. They were forced to see it. Where it was <laughs> very rough stages. and horrific. That's very cool. Uh, my next question, uh, so how do you come up with your material? Uh, we go, a lot of times we'll just go over to the studio. I work, uh, teach tap dance at Premier Dance Academy in Hollister. Nice plug. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, we go in there to the studio and just stay there all day, all night, and just mess around with different ideas and just take one idea, and it may be the dumbest idea in the world, but you just keep, keep at it yeah, and keep really, at it and uh, see what you can make out of it. And when we would take it as far as it would possibly go, like on the stupidity scale, <laughs> bring it just back a little bit so it's yeah. not way out there, and that's normally what, what we always kind of say is we'd go home and we'd show our wives, and then if they roll their eyes, we know it's good. <laughs> it's in the show. It's a keeper. <laughs> So, um, so how did you end up at the Clay Cooper Theater there in Branson? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, a couple years in a row, uh, we got invited to, to become part of the Relay for Life uh, uh, benefit entertainment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have all of the shows around town uh, go in there. We, we actually didn't even have a show in town at that point, but we were really lucky because uh, word of mouth was good about us from the street performing. So they brought us in. Yeah, and Clay and Tina arranged the entertainment uh, most of the time for that. Yeah. And just on word of mouth, they said, yeah, come, come be a part of it. And then a few years, like the third year we did it, yeah. they actually kind of stuck around and watched. And, mm -hmm. and Clay's musical director, R.P. Harrell, yeah. and Clay. And he's a great guy. He's such a good yeah, guy. Yeah, so is Clay. Yeah. Yeah, and so is Tina. But not a guy. No. But she's great. But they're, they're, they've been so supportive to us. It's been <laughs> amazing. They watched us, and RP doesn't like anything. No, he Nothing. does not like anything. And he, and he actually told me once that he liked what he saw. And so they wanted uh, to make us a part of, <laughs> a part of the, uh, Clay's show, and they gave us the opportunity to try out our show at their old theater. Yeah, uh, it was very cool. It was right across from Walmart. Yeah, and we did an hour version of it, and it, 
we didn't have any marketing or anything. We just kind of promoted at the landing. And we, we made like, show. what, like 200 rack cards? And yeah. we'd, we'd go to the landing, we'd play, we'd say, hey, here's a, a show that we're doing. Feel yeah. free to come on over. And, and we, you know, we didn't have g huge crowds or anything, but the people that came really enjoyed it, and it, it inspired us to keep on with it. And we, we what, we, we left Dixie Stampede we did. at the end of that year and started with Clay uh, beginning of 2010. Yeah. Now, you guys are actually wearing your merchandise, aren't you? Uh, we are. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> I think at this point, it's trying to become, uh, with every shipment that comes in, we take a shirt or two. Yeah. So I think my yep. entire t-shirt drawer is nothing but buckets and board shirts. Little plug for you. Those are nice shirts. And it's, they're really comfortable, Yeah, too. it's my formal wear. We, we get uh, American Apparel shirts because yeah. we, we love to wear them, and we wanted to get something that we'd want to wear. And yeah. So hopefully other people like wearing them too. Yeah, same thing with our drumsticks. We got yeah. a, a, a deal worked out right now with Vader Percussion. They're one of the top two uh, stick makers in the world. It's a good strong stick. Great, great. Well, hey, now we've come to the part in our show. It's our rapid fire questions part of our show. And uh, what I'll do right now is throw out some questions to you guys. And just as fast as you can, just throw back an answer to me. First thing that comes to your mind, okay? All right, here we go. Are you ready? All right. Favorite movie? Go. Indiana Jones. Um, Lord of the Rings. No, well, Star Wars. That's good. Back to the Future. Back, uh, yeah. Labyrinth. High Fidelity. That's a cool one. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. Oh. Favorite band? Matt the Electrician. Matt the Electrician. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's also my also brother. Also his brother. <laughs> Favorite flavor of ice cream? Go. Butterscotch. Strawberry cheesecake. Really? Yeah. Favorite type of food? Burritos. <laughs> I like... Wait, is that a type? <laughs> Mexican food. I like Thai food. Favorite phone app? The calculator. I... What are you scared of? Go. Ghosts. Sometimes and spiders. Extreme darkness. Yeah. How many gas stations are there in the United States? Uh, does that include American Samoa? Describe yourself in one sound. Go. <laughs> do 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 do. If you were a superhero, what superpower would you have? Uh, I'd like to be really small. Mine would like to be invisibility, because I've always liked that saying, when oh. pigs fly, and I would just pick up a pig and run with it. Okay, belly buttons, any or Audi? I don't, I don't think that's any of your business. Triangle. Do you bite your toenails? No. Not after what happened last time. Do you scrunch or fold your toilet paper when you wipe? I, I fold well, it into a scrunching pattern. No, I fold it. I mean, that's, if you scrunch it, that's gross. No, I, I scrunch. That's really? You fold? You With even... that beard? Last question. You guys are amazing. Is, is that a... Thank you. A, Just say thank you. You... Amazing. Just say thank you. Okay, that's all the time we have tonight for Talent Talk. I'm Gil Valentine. I'd like to thank Buckets and Boards for coming in today. Until next time, this is Gil Valentine signing off.